Hello all you YouTubers, this is Wallington filming. Um, today I'm going to show you uh, the difference with uh, two Dulux Trade New Work Gloss. One's been heated up to the point where it's uh, very hot and one's uh, it been left at room temperature. Now the difference between these two glosses is uh, if you work in the trade or even if you don't work in the trade uh, if you heat your gloss up first to the point where it's very hot it will become a runny consistency and will make it easier to apply to an undercoated frame without adding any terps to the gloss whatsoever. Uh, as you may well know if you add terps to any gloss the more turps you put in to make it easier to use, the um, the more turps you use to make it easier to use, the duller the finish will become. Uh, most of us just have tip turps in a kettle, uh, tip uh, gloss in a kettle, and add a little bit of turps. That doesn't normally affect the shine that much, but if you can get away without putting any um, turps in, it's better. So anyway, on the left hand side I've got a tin of, uh, brand new tin of uh, Dulux Trade New Work Gloss that's been left at room temperature and on the right I've got one that's quite hot and if you can see at the back I've had it uh, push right up against this uh, blow eater. Right, so what I'm going to do now is open the one on the right and show you how thin it is. Right, so here's the one on the right. Now this is going to be quite difficult to... Uh, let me see if I can do this. You see how... That dust drips off like water. So what I'm going to do is try and show you. This is going to be quite difficult to do one handed. Right then, so with the one on the right, this is the one that's been heated up. See how thin that is? Yep, very thin. No turps in that whatsoever. So that'll be right. I can just put that straight in neat out of the tin. And here's the one that's been left at room temperature. Obviously that needs a stir. I mean if you can see it's quite going down quite a lot slower. I mean you, you probably can't see the difference but inconsistency consistency this one is uh, trust me is a lot thicker harder to use and you'll get more more sags out of it while it's trying to dry off so basically if you heat your gloss up to the point where it's very hot in the tin you can use it straight on a frame or you could use it on any woodwork without having to add turps which means it'll be um, a lot shinier than the one that you have to add turps to. So basically all I have to do is heat it up to the point where it's dead hot and you can use that straight out of the tin. You might need to keep your tin next to the heater if you're doing quite a lot of work as if you're in a new build you'll be uh, You'll be, you'll be needing to keep topping it up with hot gloss. And that's about it really. So all you've got to do is get your tin of gloss. You don't even have to open it. You can loosen the lid if you want. Put it right in front of the heater to the point where it's uh, red hot. The gloss is red hot. Uh, start using your gloss. You don't need to add any turps. And uh, whilst you're using it out of the kettle, 
um, just put it back, back next to the heater. It's a lot better than the alternative, which is um, taking it out of a, room, a, a tin that's been left at room temperature and adding terps. So that's all you've got to do, whack it near the heater, job done. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, on any more uh, hints and tips, trade secrets, etc., don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, thanks for watching.